On the college level, Louisiana Tech is now 10 and 6 on their season. They've been really good at home, but have struggled pulling out wins on the road. With conference play underway, the Bulldogs look to make those adjustments sooner rather than later. Jenna Vidamonte has more. The Bulldogs are coming off a road loss to Sam Houston, allowing 81 points to the Bearcats. But as they look ahead to playing Middle Tennessee, head coach Talvin Hester says they need to defend and apply that pressure. We just got to take care of the basketball, which we did not do with Sam. And if we can get a shot on the basket every time down the court and not turn the ball over, I, I, I like our chances. But the truth is uh, we gave up 81 points on the road. The only time we gave up 81 points is to a top 20 team in the country, and that's Colorado State. We didn't defend. If we can get back to being a gritty defense, team that we were. We got up to, I think, 20th in the country at one point. We dropped to about 68 now. If we can get back to that and our energy and our effort be right, we'll give ourselves a good chance to win on the road. Daniel Bacho and Isaiah Crawford lead the conference in almost every category, including Isaiah Crawford making recent program history. It's unbelievable to have two guys like that. What we love to have is it's what makes us us. Uh, it's what's made us good defensively to have their length um, around the basket and around the rim. I wouldn't trade uh, Isaiah and Bacho for anybody in the country. I think they're who we need. I think we can win with them. Um, I, think we're, I think we're right there on the brink. We just got to get over the hump. Coach Hester emphasizes the importance of a home court advantage and the Bulldogs will be back in the tack as they host the Liberty Flames for their Conference USA home opener this Sunday. Reporting from Louisiana Tech, I'm Jenna Vitamonti. Thanks, Jenna. The Bulldogs will take to the court on Thursday when they travel to Murfreesboro to play in a nationally televised game against Middle Tennessee State. Tip-off is set for 8 o'clock.